I was on a family trip when I was 10 years old with my mom and dad to see a country show. Alabama was playing at the Buck Lake Ranch. It was 100 degrees and the sun was going down and my ice cream had just unflopped on the ground so I was eating what was left of the cone that was still in my hand. We were standing around waiting for the show to start just outside of this little park. Folks were coming in from everywhere to find their seats. Then somewhere in the rush of a hillbilly crowd came this rumble that damn near shook the whole ground. That's when it started, and oh, I never will forget. This motley of a crew was raising up a fit. They had tattoos and scars, and they were cussing and spitting. That's when my old man said, fellas, we got a family over here. Well, they all kind of stared at each other a while, and right about then I saw one of them smile. Then they all broke out in laughter and burst into tears. They sure got a kick out of my poor old dad and his brand new dockers and his shirt of plaid. But getting their kicks is just what they were looking for anyway. Well, they stood up together and they all gathered round and they took turns looking my dad up and down. Then one monster of a man said, what you gonna do about it? Now my dad had a legend the size of Alaska. He was known for kicking ass from here to Nebraska. But since becoming a family man, he'd settled down a little bit. He wasn't very big, but his faith was strong And he'd been slinging lumber for God knows how long And you just knew this wasn't gonna turn out like it should You could tell by the look he had in his eye That he knew to walk away, but he just couldn't this time And you could almost feel his blood as it began to boil He turned to us and said, go wait in the car Mom said, Gary, now we've come too far Let's just go find a seat, sit down and enjoy the show well, he turned back to glance at the group and he reckoned just go on to the car. This won't take but a second. Well, that was it. Mama, she just took me by the hand. And I remember thinking, what the hell's he doing? It's ten against one. Who's he think he's fooling? Well, then what happened next, as they say, is history. When we walked toward the lot and he walked into hell. Before I could blink, well, the first one fell. And they swallowed him up like a pack of wild hyenas. There was a clang and a clash and I heard a bottle break And then somehow one old boy ended up with a rake And with the flick of the wrist, Dad stuck it where the sun don't shine It sounded like applause coming from a dust cloud For a second I was worried he might not make it out Then I heard, and I knew that he was doing just fine Yeah, fists were swinging and elbows were flailing And when it was all said and done, those bikers were hightailing And a big blur of leather passed us like a bat out of hell Well, we just reached the car when Mom turned around The dust was just settling back to the ground There stood Dad in a graveyard and kicked ass It happened so fast we barely unlocked the van It was over and done by the time it began So we just locked her right back up, headed back towards Dad There were a couple hundred yards between us and him And as we got close the scene looked pretty grim There were six or seven bodies laid out there on the ground he had a little scratch right there on his chin And there was quite a bit of blood, but none of it was his I couldn't help but notice that his shirt was still tucked in The transformation's what took me aback He gave us a hug, just like that We were headed off towards the stage and not a word was said Well, the show was a hit, everyone loved the band But all I could do was just stare at my old man Replay that whole scenario again in my head but needless to say, from that day on, it didn't take a lot for me to have my homework done Or the trash cleaned, or the lawn mowed, or the house painted up yeah, It was straight A's from there on out I said yes ma'am and sir and kept a watch in my mouth And I did everything I could to make sure I stayed on his good side Well that's about it as far as I can remember I still can't get over the wrath of his temper Boy, if you could have only seen the things that I saw that day to know him now, hell, you wouldn't believe me He's a man of few words with his heart on his sleeve But I'm giving you all fair warning of what lies beneath Oh, he'd much rather love you if you choose to let him But you can bet he'll beat you if you ever bet him He's a soft-hearted soul with an anvil for a right hand 
And now the years have flown, and Dad's a little older, but there's still a lot of fire in them Cetrum Silver shoulders. And if you think his day is past, well, you're on your own. <laughs>